Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to any new viewers. This is a reading for Pisces, my beautiful Pisces signs. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with your person. How is your person feeling about you? Current feelings, next actions, next moves, how they're viewing you, how they're coming across, what they like, what they don't like about the connection. Let's get into it, Pisces. If you do um, enjoy the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Of course, um, you can check out your other placements as well. Pisces, let's see what's going on. Wow, beautiful. Gonna stick that there and way too many flips but I'm just going to show you what we've got here we've got the six of cups I'm just going to leave that out that might be important in a moment let's get one more card here hmm okay and I just want to show you, we've got another ace at the bottom of the deck. So we've got two aces here. Um, ace of Earth, which is Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Fire, Ace of Wands. Okay. Guys, this um, person, I feel you're dealing with someone quite romantic. So it could be another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or someone with who also has strong water placements in their chart. But this person, I feel, is just romantic, okay? It's the first thing that came to my mind as these cards were coming out. A lot of romance, um, and there's some passion here coming as well, if it hasn't already. This person is very sentimental. This person um, likes to, you know, do meaningful things or keeps, like, little mementos or... Um, you know, often goes back and looks at photos or things that reminds them of of the past and the two of you and your relationship and your connection. Very sentimental um, person, very, um, you know, attributes meaning to things and very, very in touch with their emotions, right? They're coming across like the Knight of Cups here. This is someone who, again, portrays that um, emotion quite freely is willing to express themselves is willing to tell you how they feel is willing to um yeah they're just very in touch with their emotions it's not something that they're going to hide now sometimes you may think well can i trust this kind of energy is this just someone who is telling me what i want to hear or what they think i will like and then they're not actually really interested well i think we can safely say that that is not the case and we'll get into why in a moment but certainly for the time being, it's like a knight in shining armor. They're coming through and it's almost like, not that you need saving or needed saving, but it's like, wow, this person has just come in, swept you off your feet, or is trying to really be that knight in shining armor, male or female, doesn't matter. But um, that type of figure, that type of person who's going to help you out, who's going to do things for you, who's going to make you feel loved and appreciated i absolutely love this for you guys um how they're seeing you beautiful first card to get in any reading the wheel of fortune um they are seeing this like a destined connection they are seeing this as though meeting you may have felt very um destined in terms of like you had to be in the right place at the right time there's a sense of um, foreignness for me as well. It's like a chance meeting and maybe the two of you are from completely different places, um, which again uh, makes it seem even more incredible that the two of you met. That's at least how they're feeling. And there's something here, again, I don't always get this um, feeling from this card, but for some reason, something has to do with travel or adventure um it's like you're coming across as very adventurous or someone who likes to travel or someone who likes 
new experiences. And they love that about you. They love that about this, this connection. Perhaps you are opening their mind up to something new. New discoveries. Things like that. New opportunities as well. Lots of opportunities here. Opportunities for growth, for abundance. That they had not considered before. So much positive here. And again, feeling like. They feel lucky. Honestly, they feel lucky and blessed. They feel like you have turned things around for them. And they want to show that appreciation to you. Very, very um, grateful, this person. And thus very willing to um, open their heart and do things for you. I feel like this person actually does a lot for you. Helpful. Very, very helpful energy. It could be one of, the, one of their love languages, you know, acts of service. Showing you that they, they care by actually physically do, doing things to help you out. Their deeper feelings. Queen of Cups, more water energy. Lots of beautiful emotion in this cup. Someone who is capable of keeping, um, you know, not going too crazy or not, you know, completely losing their mind <laughs> over a relationship, which is good, which is a good thing. This person has more of a mature energy deep down. Um, they're also willing to wait. They're also willing to take their time. They're also willing to do things in a step-by-step -step manner. But they've got a, a big heart. Seriously, guys, this person has a big heart, lots of emotion for you. You may not be fully aware. And again, you may be kind of thinking like they're coming across like maybe a smooth talker and are they actually genuine? Are they serious? Well, yeah, it's backed up here backed up here by the queen of queen of cups so i think what they're displaying is in fact indicative of how they actually feel it's not like a deception interesting card here we've got the hermit we've got a couple interesting um energies here because despite the fact that there's so much emotion there's passion there's feeling like this is destiny there's so many good things about this we've got a couple cards of just kind of taking our time waiting and watching um we don't need to rush things too much i think this is a mature person here this is coming up as a positive in this reading you know hermit energy it's taking a step back it's it's self-analysis as well, self-reflection, figuring out what you want. Maybe that is a very um, important part of the dynamic between the both of you. It's like both of you understand that it's important for each person to get their own needs fulfilled. And perhaps they are not always in line with each other, but that's okay. You can still grow together. You don't have to share all the same interests and all the same desires and all the same goals um, as long as you are respectful of one another's goals and as long as you know life is not completely taking you in two separate directions that's absolutely fine there's a lot of space I feel in this connection there's space to be yourself there's space for them to be themselves I love it the hermit is always looking for their star right so I think that in a sense, this person feels as though, again, they've found something in you that they were searching for. Okay, it's beautiful. Interesting here with the four of wands to come up in this um, position, because I'm getting this as somewhat of a challenge or um something that this person finds challenging and usually this is a, a very nice energy but there's something sometimes a little bit inflexible about it it's a bit rigid it's a bit stubborn it's it can be a bit of an inflexible kind of energy it can sometimes be a bit too traditional so maybe there is some kind of disagreement when it comes to tradition when it comes to the living situation as well home situation, where you want to live, there may not be a sense of stability there at the moment. And maybe this person is craving more stability in a living situation. It's a random one, but possibly one of you is messy and 
it kind of drives the other person up the wall. That's just a random message that came into my mind. It may not resonate with, with all of you. Okay, interesting. That's not a deal breaker, by the way. That's just something that needs to be ironed out. It's a few challenges there. Now, um, hanged man energy. This person is, again, not afraid to take their time. And this person is not afraid to gain a different perspective and stay open-minded to things, right? That's what I like. They are not so stubborn and inflexible that they can't consider your point of view. And despite the fact that there is so much emotion here, people, I think both of you, this person and you, both people are willing to take their time. There's no rush. There's no sense of urgency. Let's wait and see. Let's fully explore this. It feels great, but let's just keep level-headed about it. There seems to be, again, a lot of um, sentimentality, a lot of thinking about the past, reminiscing. Sometimes this card does indicate children, so there could be children involved in the connection. If it's not your children, it could be other children. So like nieces, nephews, other children that have something to do with, with this connection. It's a very homely feeling. One or both of you may be quite um, a little bit sad and a little bit nostalgic at this time. Perhaps for your own families or relatives that, you know, if there's a distance between you, you're not able to see them. That's impacting things too. It's an emotional time at the moment, I feel. For a lot of people, I guess. What is interesting here is now these two aces, okay? Because this is representing what their next move is going to be. And we've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So I don't know what is currently being planned. I think you may have a bit of an of an inkling, but there's some kind of planning going on, thinking about the best strategy, um, staying open-minded, open minded, taking suggestions. Both of you, I, I feel, are putting in your suggestions to something. But we're about to embark upon something new. This could be an engagement ring. This could be moving in together or moving to a different location. This could be, for those of you who this is a very new connection, it could be like the passionate new beginning. Finally, things um, move to another level there. Um, new beginnings. Possibly a new creative pursuit for some of you as well. A business, an investment, something that brings in money. But it's creative, I feel, too. So... Some of you may be using your creativity together to invest in something for the future and start something off. Could be a couple different things. So really, really exciting times. You're in the planning phases, which is the smart thing to do. And you're making sure, I feel, this person. it's very important for this person that both your needs are getting met. Like I said, it's very mature energy. Very appreciative of you, but wanting to make sure that you're happy and they're happy and that you're both feeling fulfilled. I love it. This is beautiful. I'm going to leave it there. I don't think I need to say any more. I'm really excited about this for you guys and hope you enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.